friends! This is going to be my last video. Starting next Sunday, you can come to church and listen to our Bible stories live in person with us. Um, last week, we learned the first four commandments which were about your relationship with God. How you know Him, love Him, and live for Him. Today, we'll look at commandments 5-10 through 10, which are about your relationship with other people. Sometimes it can be hard to know how to treat other people or how to really love them. But the good news is that Jesus really does love His people. He loves them perfectly. And He can help you to love them too. Say it with me. I need God's grace. The fifth commandment is honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. It means show respect to your parents. The first relationship you ever have with someone else is your parents or your guardians. To honor them is to show respect to them, to value their opinion and obey them. Depending on your family situation, this could be easy or sometimes it could be really hard. This is where God's grace can change your heart to help you show respect and love your parents or um, those who are guardians over you. The sixth commandment is, you shall not murder. This commandment might seem easy to keep. Maybe you're thinking, I haven't killed anyone. When Jesus lived on earth, he explained more about this commandment, what this commandment means. Jesus said, even hating someone in your heart is like murder. Hating equals murder. All life is valuable to God. And what is most important to Jesus is what's in your heart, not just what you say or what you do, or what you do or what you don't do. If you have hate in your heart, you are breaking this commandment. Instead of hating others, ask God to help you show love and kindness, even to the people who are hard to love. The seventh commandment is, you shall not commit adultery. To commit adultery is to treat someone who is not your husband or wife like um, they are your husband or wife. God says that marriage between a man and a woman is special. Marriage is special. Even though right now you are far from getting married, God cares about this part of your life. God knows the best way to live and He wants your future marriage to be special. Even now, you can keep your future marriage special by keeping yourself, including your thoughts and your body, away from things God created just for married couples or married people. So, um, as you get older, you might find that this can be hard to do, but God can give you the grace to obey and help you be careful about what you think about, look at, or do with your body. If you are a little confused about what I'm talking about, ask your parents or a trusted adult. The Eighth Commandment is, you shall not steal. Don't take what's not yours. Um, stealing is taking what is not yours, it can, but it can also mean like cheating on a test, taking credit for something someone else did, or borrowing something and then deciding not to return it. Instead of stealing, you should give and be generous with what God has given you. Be thankful for what God has given you and don't take what isn't yours. The Ninth Commandment is, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. False witness is lying, like not telling the truth. Don't cover up the truth. This might be trying to trick someone into believing something that is not true to get yourself or your friends out of trouble. Or it can be exaggerating the facts. Saying something, um, that is, that it, saying something is better or worse than it actually is to impress other people. Or you can lie by hiding certain facts um, to make yourself look better than someone else. God desires truth for, from you and me. Truth is who God is and He wants you to be a person of truth. Finally, the 10th commandment is, you shall not covet your neighbor's house or anything that belongs to your neighbor. To covet is to want something someone else has instead of being thankful for what you have. Be thankful for what you have. You might covet someone's video games, TV, family, or the grades they get in school. Instead, think of the things you do have and be thankful for them. God gave us these last six commandments to show us how life works best with others. And wow, as I write, wrote these commandments down to prepare for this video, I was reminded again and learned more about them. I am convicted that I need to check my life and make sure I'm following God's commandments. 
Life works best when you show respect to your parents, love instead of hate, keep your marriage special, are generous instead of stealing, are truthful instead of lying, and are thankful for what you have. This is how life with others works best. Let's say these commandments again. Commandment number five, show respect to parents. Number six, hating equals murder. Number seven, marriage is special. Number eight, don't take what's not yours. Number nine, don't cover up the truth. And number 10, be thankful for what you have. By His grace, God changes the hearts of those who believe in Jesus. God gave us these commandments to show us who He is. He is holy, set apart from anything evil or sinful. God also gave us these commandments to show who we are. Without God's help, we cannot possibly keep them on our own because our hearts are selfish and sinful. He gave us the commandments to show us how desperately we need someone to change our hearts.